हाई एवरी वन दिस इज़ डॉक्टर रोहिणी पाटिल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर बैक विद आर पॉडकास्ट सीरीज एंड इन दिस सीरीज वी आर मेनली गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट गट हेल्थ एंड गट डिटॉक्स बिकॉज आई फील गट डिटॉक्स इज़ द मोस्ट अब्यूज वर्ड दीज डेज सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी बर्स्टिंग सम मिथ्स अबाउट गट डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन विथ माई टीम मेम्बर न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट वैश्वी हाई वैष्णवी हेलो मैम यस so first of all ma'am as you mentioned gut health so basically i want to go in basic and ask like what is gut and what is the role that plays in human body so gut i feel is the second brain of your body because almost 70% of activities metabolic activities they begin in your gut uh, most of the hormones are secreted in your gut and if your gut is healthy your brain will be fine your body will be fine your hormonal function will be fine so it is the main center that controls everything after your brain uh, and uh, sometimes it also guides a lot of things to your brain uh, talking about your gut it starts from your mouth where the chewing action happens then it goes to your esophagus then your stomach then your duodenum your small intestines your large intestine then your anus and rectum and then uh you know then the whatever you have eaten the waste material is thrown off uh that is your digestive system physically now when you talk about physiologically uh your digestive system is important for absorption of nutrients in your body and these nutrients are then transferred to liver where metabolic functioning happens so interestingly your intestines have these small microvilli where the process of digestion happens and in these microvilli uh the nutrients are broken down and then they are transferred to your liver uh and in that case what is important is your gut health and the main uh, purpose of a gut detox is to keep your gut uh we just discussed different parts of your gut your mouth your esophagus your intestines mainly your intestines healthy because when your intestines are not healthy when these microvilli are having a problem uh they they are causing leaky gut that is when there's inflammation in your gut and when there's inflammation in your gut there's inflammation in your body so to keep your gut linings healthy is basically the main purpose of a gut detox okay so basically i heard a lot like healthy unhealthy so uh, just tell me like what is unhealthy gut like many people might have asked you like what is healthy gut but i want to know like what are the signs of unhealthy gut yes so unhealthy gut is basically uh, we just spoke that the maximum absorption of nutrient happens in your small intestines and then in your large intestine also to some extent and when these intestinal linings are not functioning well it results into an unhealthy gut now talking about the signs and symptoms of unhealthy gut the first one is your skin you will have acne you will have breakouts you will have a dull looking skin that is the first sign of your an unhealthy gut second sign of an unhealthy gut is headaches migraines mood fluctuations because there's a lot of inflammation right so it's not going to make you feel good third sign of a bad gut is constantly having cravings if you're just craving food randomly you've eaten a lot still you're not feeling satisfied you just want to keep eating so completely overboard and overeating and otherwise the other extreme is like completely undereating are both signs of a unhealthy gut and then of course unhealthy gut uh, can also reflect into something as small as migraine and headache and it can also result into uh, rheumatoid arthritis inflammatory issues autoimmune issues cancers these all issues can literally begin with an unhealthy gut if continued for a very long time so it starts with leaky gut gut inflammation eventually it ends up into you know a uh, lot of you know gut diseases which are like long term uh, so all these things will you know give you a bad gut okay so uh, what are the factors that can impact gut health like you can consider some points or help us with that and even yes. like how can we do a gut detox like we have heard a lot about only about prebiotics and probiotics so if when we say like gut detox so there are these two words that are highlighted so are there any other ways like simpler ways and very basic like anybody can do it absolutely i feel gut detox is abused because you know people think gut detox is just being on liquids or being on juices right. it's not that so when you talk about gut detox i think it is something you can do 
every single day on a daily basis it does not have to be something very complicated okay. uh, and it can start with something as simple as intermittent fasting okay. when you're talking about intermittent fasting and when you're fasting for minimum 16 hours it gives a good break to your gut to revive itself it gives a good rest so the cell cellular linings the cells in your gut uh, even the microvilli in your intestine it all gets good time to revive and to come back to its original nature uh, and it will help them heal also whenever something's wrong with it uh, so intermittent fasting also initiates the process of autophagy so it is basically a cleansing action in your body fasting itself is cleansing uh, so that will help you with, with your gut detox and that is something you can do every single day okay. other thing that you can do for a gut detox is using raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar Uh, now a lot of people might think that apple cider vinegar is acidic right but apple cider vinegar is alkaline when you consume it okay. in fact apple cider vinegar the raw and unfiltered one i'm not talking about the filtered and the processed one here okay. but the raw one is also used as a treatment for acidity for people who have acid reflux or grd uh, they consume apple cider vinegar after their meals to reduce the acidity or acid reflux so it has an alkaline nature second benefit of acv is of course it will help you with regulating your blood sugar levels and glycemic index and blood sugar spike uh, okay. but apple cider vinegar has something called as acetic acid in it which will help your gut lining heal and it will also help your gut revive and nurture these good probiotics so it will okay. create a favorable environment in your gut which will enhance good probiotics not the bad bacteria the good bacteria uh, and acetic acid will also help in the process of digestion okay. uh, so apple cider vinegar is extremely good for a gut detox and again okay. that can be consumed every single day and you don't have to consume a lot of it make sure you're diluting it in at least half liter of water and drinking it the first thing in the morning that is how it should be consumed not taking you know uh, some or uh, one tablespoon of it and just drinking it as it is okay. you can't do like that then you might feel that is highly acidic because it's highly concentrated right so yeah. it needs to be diluted well okay a uh, third way of doing a gut detox is include good fiber in okay. your diet so fibers have a good amount of prebiotics which are eventually converted into probiotics so your diet has to be very 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 rich in fiber so you have to look for fiber in your each and every meal that is for making sure that you have a healthy gut because a good fiber diet a high fiber diet will help you with your motions also it will help you with your gut health also it will help you with maintaining the right water balance in your intestines and in your gut so high fiber diet is a must uh and it it doesn't have to be really fancy you know fiber or fancy salads it can be something as simple as cucumbers tomatoes carrots and okay. radish it's basic indian desi salad and that is more and more than enough mm-hmm. next thing that i think is very crucial uh for a gut detox is of course probiotics so mm-hmm. probiotics like dahi yogurt uh kefir a lot of people like to have consume kefir uh kimchi uh i used to love consuming kombucha so all these things are rich in probiotics okay. and if you've had chronic issues with your gut in that case you need to consume a probiotic supplements and there are some okay. really good supplements available in the market like enterogermina vivac ds uh you know sporlac so lots and lots of uh, probiotic options also available in the market but that you should consume only if you know that your gut health has already gone for a toss because okay. of you know uh, factors like alcohol consumption yeah let's talk about factors which spoil your gut health which is very important right okay. so there are some things which are extremely harmful uh for your gut health and first one is of course alcohol consumption okay. it will literally destroy your gut flora your gut bacteria second thing that is completely harmful uh, you know for your gut health is uh, lack of sleep when you don't okay. sleep well when you're constantly under stress your gut lining goes for a toss and it also causes hyperacidic conditions uh and the next uh, thing that sp- completely spoils gut health is your sugar intake okay. you have to keep your sugar intake a uh, completely under check because all the bad bacteria in your gut will feed on sugar okay so if you want to do a gut detox the first bottom line of it is no alcohol 
नो शुगर नो फ्राइड फूड नो प्रोसेस्ड फूड गुड स्लीप गुड हाइड्रेशन दैट विल सेट द टोन फॉर अ गड डिटॉक्स द मोमेंट यू स्टॉप द शुगर द बैड बैक्टेरिया विल स्टॉप रिड्यूसिंग इन देयर परसेंटेज बिकॉज दे हैव नथिंग टू फीड ऑन बट इफ यू आर हैविंग शुगर दे विल कॉन्स्टेंटली बी फीडिंग ऑन इट एंड यू नो देन द पोर्शन ऑफ बैड बैक्टीरियाज गोज अप एंड द गुड बैक्टीरियाज कम्स डाउन दैट इज नॉट वॉट वी वॉन्ट सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नो यू make these ground rules of gut detox and then you include gut healing foods like we discussed you know high fiber high protein good probiotics yeah. all these things and certain smoothies certain fruits are excellent to improve your gut health and you know that should be a part of a gut detox or any way day to day diet so i think gut detox is something that should be done every single day as a part of your day to day lifestyle habits okay. and i think that will rightly uh, help people you know uh, enrich their gut health and if your gut is already having some issues and it's already you know completely messed up then you can do some guided gut detox for 3 days or 5 days or 7 days which you're doing with an expert for a particular reason for improving your digestion and once that is done you go back to these habits to maintain that gut health aisa nahi hai ki aap gut detox kar lo kuch dino mein and uske baad again go back to your old eating it's not going to sustain so you okay. all, also have to maintain it okay yeah. so as you mentioned like sleep also plays a major role in yeah. gut health do our exercise like daily workouts also play an important role in yes, this yes of course so okay. you know stress has a direct relationship with your gut Okay. and when that uh, being said when you are exercising your stress levels goes down okay. there are good hormones like endorphins and serotonin secreted in your body and that starts improving your gut health that okay. starts enhancing good digestion it naturally promotes good acid secretions uh, acid base balance so all of these things will be enhanced by workouts and okay. it will also like i see, i see some cases interestingly who are like having chronic constipation but the day they sleep well or the day they exercise they will have you know good motions and their gut will be fine so these are all like directly linked with your stress levels okay so one more thing you mentioned about raw apple cider vinegar so how do we recognize it like when yeah. you go in the market yes, people yes, are yes. confused even i right. am confused like which one is raw, raw. and how yes, do we yes. recognize it so when you read the label of an apple cider vinegar bottle there will be written raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother okay so that is the mother raw component which has to be there in it okay. second way to see when you see the bottle it is very muddy and turbid it okay. doesn't look cl- clear okay so it should look muddy it should look turbid you will see some particles also of that apple cider vinegar with the mother you know that also flowing in the okay. apple cider so it has to look muddy dirty uh so that is the sign of a raw unfiltered one because it's not filtered okay. uh but the filtered and the processed one will look yellowish and crystal clear okay. that is the bad vinegar that okay. vinegar should not be used in cooking also so that is the easiest way to identify and okay. when you read the ingredients also they will be if it's a raw and filtered one they will mention what type of apples have been used in all of these things and okay. so you know read the label see the consistency and uh, i think it should be easy Yeah. Okay so this will be helpful for yeah. everyone for now. everyone yeah. everyone yeah <laughs> okay so one more thing i want to ask is about fat is related to gut health like the yes. consumption, consumption of fat we do yes so uh, talking about fats for gut health i want to only talk about ghee and coconut oil okay. which are good fats okay if you are talking about bad fats like palm oil and seed oil which yeah. are in most of the processed foods that is completely going to mess up your gut health because it is okay. highly inflammatory it is highly highly rich in omega 6 and if you have omega 6 beyond a certain level it's going to cause a lot of inflammation in okay. your body so you need to have the right balance of omega 3 omega 6 and omega 9 okay. and these seeds oils are extremely high in omega 6 that's why even when we give supplements to our patients we stress on omega 3s okay. because that is very rarely available in our diet uh talking about the fats for our uh, gut health we are talking about ghee and coconut oil now coconut oil has this property which is called as antibacterial property for our gut okay and we live in a times where we are constantly exposed to so many toxins so much right. uh of you know uh, like you know even water we'll drink somewhere and it will put in some toxins or some bacteria in our body so the coconut oil will help you kill those bacteria uh because it has a natural antibacterial property and it will uh, cleanse your gut and it will also have this lubrication uh you know on your gut so it will help your gut heal it's highly healing also for your gut 
uh and also if you're consuming consuming it like me the first thing in the morning empty stomach it will give you some additional fat burning properties also okay same with ghee so ghee also even though it's saturated fat it has lot of healing properties it has antioxidants so it will help you heal your gut it, it's like you know oiling a machine okay uh so that is the exact action it will have on our human body and uh you know if you're having it empty stomach again it, it gives, gives you additional fat burning properties so ghee okay. and coconut oil for your gut health empty stomach first thing in the morning is excellent okay so it's basically fat burning fat yes absolutely okay. so uh which fat we should go for like coconut oil you mentioned yes. so it should be refined one or it should be cold press one like there's yes. a lot of confusion yes, yes, going yes. on absolutely so yeah. with coconut oil it should be cold pressed okay uh or or virgin extra virgin is fine but it sh- should be cold pressed it should not okay. be highly processed because then you lose out on most of the nutrients okay when we talk about ghee a2 ghee gai ghee uh, is now readily available in the okay. market if not because it can be a little expensive if not i think if you're getting milk from good uh, sources like you know gai gotha you're getting your milk okay. from a proper gai gotha that you know uh then you can make ghee at home we indians have this age old set practice at home where we can make ghee from you know milk in our own house i think that's the best thing so yeah. you can just have ghar ka ghee that's best okay yeah. yes thank you so much ma'am for the detailed thank information you. Thank you so much. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this podcast and if you did, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you share this video to everyone who needs to know a little more about gut health. And thank you so much. We'll see you in our next podcast.